It's a special night, and you want everything to be just right. Formal evening wear, diamonds, perfumes, your good china, your best crystal, black pantyhose. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> well, even in Southern California, we dress sometimes for that special, elegant dinner, for that special, elegant man. I happen to have two elegant men, my very own menage a trois. This is Tom Robbins and John Robb. Are you hungry? Ready to eat, JP. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> well, we're gonna fix a uh, game hens with roasted garlic and sauteed spinach. Okay, we're getting ready to make Cornish game hens, a favorite of uh, Michael Roberts at Trump's Cafe. <laughs> John, would you go get the ingredients, please? Sure thing, and don't be chicken about it. Yeah. <laughs> Good move, John. Thanks, Tom. Next time, uh, take a little longer, okay? While I read the ingredients, John is going to point to them. You can point, can't you? Yes, <laughs> I use this little thing right here. Okay, three tablespoons of virgin oil. This is gonna be new to you. <laughs> Two heads of garlic broken into unpeeled cloves. That means you leave the skin on them, and it uh, measures out to about seven cloves. Four game hens, we're only making one, but you use four. Unless you have six people, then you use more. Two cups of chicken stock or low sodium chicken broth, and it's best if you use your own. One fourth cup of fresh lemon juice, one teaspoon of salt or less, and I would say less because there's a lot of lemon in this. You want to get your oil very, very hot. As it is. And then you get the cloves. John? The cloves. Leave the cloves in their little covers. Goes in there, mess them around, get them full of oil. Isn't that pretty and doesn't smell great? Yeah. Oh okay, yes. then Don't you, you get... cook them until they're a little brown? Well, we're going to cook these a long time. Brown. And now we get the uh, little Cornish game hen. This dude right here. Ugly little thing. Yeah, put it in there. So we want to brown this on both sides. Have it nice golden brown. Get the flavor of this garlic going in there. I think we should trim this up a bit. Because we want this to cook fast. Add two cups of chicken broth. That's right. You can pour it in there. I just want to make sure. This is, this is a little higher here. Okay. I think we need some lemon. Some lemon? Yeah. Lemon juice? Lemon juice. Yeah. But you don't have to pour it over the, that thing. Okay. This should really be a lot higher. A little over and a little more out. There we go. Oh, now it's really starting to cook. Look at this. Oh, oh now it's oh. browning. <laughs> See, it is browning. Well, it's getting a little it's dark here. Tan on that here, side, come right? here. Ah! Hey, doesn't that look good? JP, it should be dead by now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, a little faster here. Guys. We're frying have, this thing now. Haven't it's you, on ice. Have you ever cooked before? Sure. Yeah. Well, I've got a little, I've got a little flash for you. you you're going to be able to do this very well, because this recipe, after you get through cooking it and browning it and getting it garlic all, see, so you cook the garlic in these shells. Yeah. And so the way you eat this garlic is you suck it out of these little shells. You first. <laughs> Me first. Sure, I'll, I always like, I like going first. You can go second. <laughs> but it, isn't that a great idea? Okay, John, hand me a little salt. It's a little salt for Thank you. you. And you don't want to use too much of this because of the lemon. So. Okay. Like that. Uh-huh. All right, John, I think this is ready to go in the oven. Okay, okay. it's starting to cook real well now. And remember, bend from the knees. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're doing that, we need to get our spinach ready. Okay. Okay. So you have the spinach in the refrigerator. <laughs> Double exposure. We need a little knife here. Set this here. I need a knife to cut these tips off. Do you have one here? And John, I think we no. need that big skillet over there. Because big we're going to cook, um, we're going to fix spinach with this See, dish. We we're making a nest here? of spinach to put our little uh, game hen in. Okay, where should I put this? Well, well let's put it over here. Okay. I'll uh, make up a knife. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do we want this still on? 
We need a knife. No, you can turn it off. Okay. There we go. Oops. Got these in here? And we're all prepared. We go hot in the kitchen, see if I can find a knife. Yeah. We need olive oil. We need to get this really hot. Here. Here we go. Thanks. You're welcome. This is the biggest skillet I've ever seen. We got a little more over here if you want some more. Yeah, I think we need it. Okay, here you are. Thank you. This is, um... We're just so polite here. This is spinach cooked in... You don't have a knife. I don't have a knife. There's a little knife right there. Oh, let me get it. Get it. I just want you to cut the uh, tips off of this. We only want to cook the spinach about a minute. Um, and, of course, we have prepared another uh, hen. We have it all cooked in the oven. Because when you uh, you take your, your game hen out... And then you fix the spinach because it, it it acts like a little garnish for this. A little more? Oh, yeah, we want oh. all of this. Oh, nice. This is going to be a day's work for you. Some help? <laughs> I don't see a fire happening here. It is. So let's do this. See, see how fast spinach cooks? And you don't want it to get real uh, soggy and, and uh, ugly. And you also don't want to salt it because... Um, you don't want to cook it too long. It keeps you big and strong if you... Uh... You know, I've seen them do this on cooking shows, and I've always wanted to do... <laughs> no, that doesn't work. John, would you go get the plate, and we'll make a little basket. Or nest. a little nest. A little nest. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> One track mine. <laughs> basket. I'll make a little nest. That's you make basket, a little John. basket. Hey! <laughs> Where's the drummer? We need rim shots on all these things. Okay, um, Tom? Yes. Would you go get the game hen? Sure. Wait, don't burn yourself. Sure. There you go. And be very careful because I know it's kind of hot. Oh, it looks so good. Doesn't it? And it smells good, too. This, of course. Watch out. Look at how Ooh. good that looks. You see that when you lift that? Ooh, good. Uh, yes, that it is. Okay, look at this. Now, what you do when you take out the chicken is that you, there's there's a glaze and there's a, there's a, a, a like a little gravy in here, and you want to reduce this down till, um, where's my spoon? Spoon. Oh, great. Spoon. You want to make this like a, you know, like a little glaze sauce. sauce and yeah. so you, and so you cook it down. It is a sauce, it and it's starting to great, happen. Doesn't it? Oh, that's See, good. That smells all good. of those little chunks of the uh, garlic and the and uh, and then the chicken stock mixed. So it's it's making a little uh, thing there. See it? Mm -hmm. It's making your gravy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Look, now it's <laughs> it is. Oh yay! It's cooking. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit of that over there. And I think. I, I don't know how exactly long you do this, but you'll you'll re you'll be able to recognize the consistency because you do want it kind of thick. It's starting to thick. And it's happening. Yep. Okay. I think we're probably ready to take this out, don't you? I'm Are ready. Are you ready to take it out? I'll take it out for you if you wish and put it on there. The, the bed looks good. Oh, all right. We did nest, make a pretty nest. nest. Sorry. <laughs> Just stick it right in there. Now, bam. Oh, does that look good or what? Okay, now, you want to help me? You want to get those out for me, too? They're just I sure. put them right here in a little bitty kind of thing. The garlic is uh, just starting to separate, Now, too. that's when it really is good, is when it's cooked like that. It's like walnuts. It does. Are they and pretty inside crunchy, too, right? No, no, no? inside John, it this one's very soft. soft. John, this one's real soft. You want to start sucking on that one there and get the garlic out? <laughs> just it don't get hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we want to pour this. Let's I just want to mix it up. Yeah, good, good. See, you know how We're on goes. top of this now. We don't want to start burning it. <laughs> now, Look, it's, it's starting and I to think thicken that's real it. well. I, I think, think we're cooking just fine. We, <laughs> we got it now. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You're so strong. That pan is so I heavy. I know, I know. I don't want those little crunchy things on it, though. I want that just like this. The, just the top of the JP, sauce. you're such an artist. Oh, thanks. Look at that. Now, um, Michael served it with um, little new potatoes. And here they are. <laughs> Hi. 
Now those are supposed to be baked, right? You can bake them, you can boil them, or you can leave them raw. And there it is. Ah. Oh. That was the tastiest menage a trois I've ever had. Yes, JP, so what's next? Dessert. Really? What are we gonna make? Tracks. <laughs> this is Zachary Weathers, Edmund Druyer. Dessert. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good, JP. What are we gonna make? Oh, well, we're gonna make a fresh fruit tart with vanilla ice cream. It's at Bone Appetites.